And bounced checks are a big problem in the Valley. Both Hidalgo and Cameron County DA's offices helping local businesses collect their owed money. Here's Ashley Custer. Zamora's is an established family restaurant frequented by many locals in McAllen. It's a very homey family environment. We treat our customers um, like family. And while the restaurant staff has built trust and relationships with their customers, Zamora's recently had to change their policy on accepting personal checks because they've had many people intentionally write more than one hot check. It's frustrating at times and it makes us, makes us feel like we're fools because it happened, and especially on this one that I'm talking about, because it was three checks, and, and it kind of made me feel like this guy was just giving me a slap in the face. Jorge Zamora says it's hard not to take it personally, but understands, too, that mistakes do happen. We know things happen. Sometimes funds are not available. We're willing to work with you to take care of this matter. Uh, some do heed that call. Others, we never hear from again. So much so that Zamora's will even mail a personal letter to notify you of an outstanding balance. Writing hot checks directly impacts local businesses, and it's why the district attorney's office takes these cases very seriously. In fact, he has a special division dedicated to investigating and collections, something Zamora is grateful for. On Wednesday, he received money from the county for a bounce check dating back to April. And when I got this, I was like, are you serious? We, we got paid on this check? And I was like, I was kind of like, yes, the system does work. Sometimes it takes a while, but it does work. While he still has about a dozen unresolved bad checks, Zamora isn't letting it get the best of him and says the restaurant will still make exceptions for those few longtime customers who pay by check. We try to make sure that they leave here with a full stomach, of course, and that they're intent on coming back. In McAllen, Ashley Custer, CBS 4 News.